Hey everyone, Andang here for more of Mordor. When we last left off, we were getting ready to go and figure out what the heck's been going on with basically just everything here in Mordor. So, off in the distance, you spy a small group of enemies entering the ruins of Baradur. Alright, so Sapakor is going and doing all sorts of evil stuff, so now we need to enter Baradur and seek out Sapakor. So, let's uh, go do that. We're going to try heading up and see where that leads us. Okay, so he was in this direction. Just a bunch of wardens. Alright. And whoever this... <laughs> what? Is... Why is he teleporting? He's teleporting torture. The worst kind of torture. A footstep? That's clearly a clue. figure out what this footstep's all about. You come across a large footman belonging to Sapakar. Oh dang. Now what? Well, at least we know we're going the right way. There's another footstep over here. Ah yes, more footsteps. I knew it. To follow the footsteps to victory. And the footsteps just keep coming on. Sepakar stands before you on the edge of the chasm of Mordath. Dang. Hi, Sepakar. The ring is inside his chest. Hold up. Hold on. Look at this craziness. The ring is inside his chest. Did you eat the troll that was here before? <laughs> we're, we're talking to the troll inside the troll. Okay. Are you here to help? We must search the pit for the black word. I sent down servants to bring back treasures and useful things for the Black Word. I sent them down quickly, but no one comes back. Good you are here, I can send you down real quick too. I must get something for the Black Word. You assure the Olog that you have no intention on being flung horribly into that abyss. Well, that probably made him mad. What? You're going to try to stop me? <laughs> Good luck with that, little man. I'll show you. Oh, dang. Well, luckily, we're on this side of him. Uh, ow. Ow. Alright. Look at the edge of this. This is as close as you want to get to the edge. Let's look. You see nothing in the darkness, but you think you hear a very low growl. Oh, dang. Alright, looks like we have to head back to camp to find out what is going to be going on next. Uh, sorry, buddy, I, I know you're terrified, but uh, there's nothing I can do. Look how scared he is, the poor guy. Uh, he probably saw several of his kind just being chucked into the abyss. And that's not a good day. Not a good day for Mordor. Alright, let's resume our talks with Lamazar. Do not make me regret this. It seems you have found the Olog and survived. Your exploits thus far surprise me. Moreover, you have seen the Abyss of Mordath. Indeed, that great chasm is a place of horror. I shudder to think what still lives down there. Narkor has escaped, then. This outcome may be the most favorable to all. It is very likely that Narkar will return to the, his realm in Nan Orgo, the fell vale in the far western reaches of Mordor. He may try to retake his former throne. You ask the Lomazar about the creature known as Narkar. It is difficult to explain in this tongue. He is neither man nor beast. He is both, yet... Something different. What do you want? Have you come to take me out from this place of my certain death? Or have you come to tell me only that 
my words ring true. You explained to Lomazar that he will be taken out of Mordor once the situation in Dormarth has improved. It seems I may be dwelling in this company for a time then. Be warned, it should be known that some of the relics Dolgabeth pursues are much more powerful than one of your ilk could imagine. You may have thwarted his efforts thus far, but let it be known, hidden objects lie in wait below the fortress of Beradur. Alright, well he sounds optimistic. Let's talk to Ingold. Lomazar has been truthful with us up to this point, Andeng. While I have my doubts, it is not impossible that Sauron would have put such thought and effort into collecting many a valuable and powerful relic. You say that you have seen some of these already. Then perhaps we must act sooner than later in preventing the Black Word from finding any more lost trinkets of Sauron. Yes, that sounds we like a good Gondor's plan. We are Gondor's eyes and Gondor's swords in this place. You have done much to weaken those who serve under the Black Word. If we are able to make a stand against those of power in Dormarth, now is the time. Speak with Lomazar and see what else he knows. The captive won't say a word to me, but he has taken a liking to you. The Ithil Stone? Oh, that sounds epic. Come then. You have helped us a great deal, Andeng. Some of our company have gone ahead to scout Mordor. When you have done all you wish to do in Dormarth, you may want to accompany these men and elves further into the realm of Gorgoroth. A Gondorian named Bregdal was ventured with a small group towards Talithuru. I have also heard the Legolas wishes aid in scouting Lingris. I'm sure both would more than welcome your company. Alright, we got new quests in other areas as well, starting to team out there. That's pretty cool. But first, we must talk to Lomazar and continue this along. Do not make me regret this. I have nothing else to say. Although, what have you heard of the Ithil Stone? Nothing. Dolgabeth seeks the powerful Ithil Stone to sway others, just as Sauron had done. For that reason alone, it means much to Dolgabeth and many others. Ownership of the stone will gain Dolgabeth many allies in Mordor. Alright, well we definitely need to stop that from happening. Engold? I am convinced. Let us go to Beradur and Eng. We shall scout the area together and plan our attack. Alright, well that does sound like a next episode thing, because it sounds like it's going to be pretty involved. So, that's not until next time. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for more of Mordor.